It's cleaning day in the snake room. What are you doing? <laughs> Hey, it's Adam at Proper Royals. It's cleaning day today. Uh, once a month or so, I pull everything out of the rack and I give it a good preventative uh, go once over. So we've got the snakes. I've got an eight-year-old son. We've got two dogs. I got bearded dragons uh, and we got a ton of fish, which really don't make a difference here. Point being no. Um, and this is in a room in our home too. So a lot of those animals are in and out. I'm a nut about quarantining and keeping clean and keeping my uh, snakes clean. But the fact is those, um, those mites are a real concern. So I want to stay ahead of them. I don't ever, I don't ever want to be treating for them. I want to prevent them. So once a month, I pull all the, all the tubs out and you get an inside look at my uh, rack here. And I got a few things coming in the future. Obviously my label game ain't so hot. I'm using painter's tape still. And I've got individual heat pads uh, set up when really I need to just have one long one rather than a whole bunch of cords running to different uh, thermostats on there. So all future plans on that, but back to cleaning today. So I use a chemical called Ivamectin. It's from a company called Dervit. It is a cattle livestock parasite eliminator stuff is dangerous be careful with it don't have it around your pets um, you need to dilute it 40 mils to 32 ounces 40 mils 32 ounces I make that solution it's a watered down solution and what I do is once I've got everything um, um, emptied out I give it a spray All the way through before the video started uh, I actually did one spray prior as well and it's been drying I had the fan on but now I'll wipe it all out I want all the residual out of there I want to have killed any parasites that might be there and then the others will go back in I'm a huge fan of making sure that your racks are made of either PVC or a uh, dense plastic or uh, metal, stainless steel, or aluminum. The reason being, it's not gonna absorb anywhere that bacteria can live, and you can spray it down and clean it. If you're using plywood, um, if it's all you got, it's all you got. If you're using the melamine coated particle board, same thing, if it's all you got, it's all you got. But those things are gonna absorb uh, moisture, and that's where bacteria is gonna live. Background in food and beverage, I, my day job, my career is running multiple restaurants, and cleanliness, cleaning, and sanitation are incredibly important to me. So quick rundown of uh, cleaning is eliminating the physical particles. Sanitizing is killing the, the surface of any biological uh, contaminants. So generally, um, that's what we use the old uh, F10 stuff for. Mites are a little bit tougher, a little hardier. So I pull all the snakes out, clean this down, wipe it down, and then we'll bring the snakes back in. Um, Otherwise, uh, mite treatments, it's a whole other thing. There's some videos out there um, about, uh, about mite treatments. Maybe I'll do one. Hopefully, I don't need to. I'll tell you one other product I use on this process is this stuff, RID. Same thing as I was saying earlier about how dangerous it is. Have your pets out of the room. Make sure you're fumigating it. Pull your snakes out first. But I spray the carpet. I don't have a hardwood floor in here. I'd love to. I'd love it to be like a kitchen that I could spray down with a floor drain. But for the time being, it's a hobbyist. It's a hobby. I'm working my way to a business. Maybe one day I'll have a whole separate facility. But the fact of the matter is I'm not pulling up the carpet and the rug. So uh, once a month as well, I spray down the carpet with that. But you need to let it air out. And you need to fumigate it out with, um, not fumigate it out. You need to vent it out with um, the fan going and all that. So hope you enjoyed today. I'm going to get to wiping down this uh, rack. And I'm going to get the animals back in there. So thanks for joining me. This is Adam from Proper Royals. Join me on the journey from hobbyist to business. See you in the next video. Cheers to you wherever you are. Thanks for joining me.